What's up? My name is Elsa Ray. I have lived with Baron and our dog Camp in our 13 foot scamp trailer for over two years. This is gonna be our fourth scamp tour. The first was in the city during the fall. The second was in Colorado during the spring. The third was in the desert in Arizona. And the fourth is here in the winter of the Colorado Rocky Mountains with our cubic mini wood stove installed inside of the scamp. So let's go inside and see what Baron's up to. Well, hello, internet. Welcome to the scamp. Shall we have a tour? <laughs> this is our cubic mini wood stove. It is what is allowing us to stay out here in the snowy Rocky Mountains in the winter time. It has been amazing. Up top, we have a fan that runs off the heat from the stove using the Seebeck effect to generate power. We have the cubic mini tools. So this little hook is what we use most often. A little shovel that we scoop out the soot from the fire with. Put that into this little bucket to take to the fire pit outside. To cook on the cubic mini, we will just put like toast or whatever on top of it. And then up top, if we're gonna cook, We'll put this guy up here. This is a miniature cast iron that we got from a subscriber that had this in their storage and they were like, oh my God, you guys gotta have this. And then we have a little Dutch oven. This guy's great for soups or ramen or whatever. This is our little Stanley that we've had forever. This was like the first piece of camping cooking gear that we got. We'll oftentimes just leave this up here with water on so that we can make tea or cacao or whatever. We'll put our oils and stuff back behind the stove because if we don't, if they're under here, they'll oftentimes freeze because the scamp's not that well insulated. The stove definitely should be on the ground. That would be ideal because heat rises. But given our living space, that just didn't really make sense. Like there's nowhere that we could put it. And also, we're not gonna have the stove in here all the time. Like in the warmer months, we'll pull the stove out, which is really easy because it's just bolted down with four bolts under the legs. And then we'll have this whole counter space to use um, during the summer for whatever we need. Do you have anything to add? We would insulate the scamp better and like really delve into winterizing it, but since we need to be adaptable to four seasons. We can't just like make the scamp just for winter. And it's also 30 years old. So there are like little things that we're working on all the time to optimize it and fix it up. For the kitchen, we have our non-perishable items, uh, pea protein powder. We have a couple ramen packs, just different things like that. Sauces, some canned goods. And really I like having all of this stuff, even though we don't eat it all the time just in case we were to get snowed in for a while or if the car broke down or if we were like in a tight spot, we have enough food here for a long time. Back here we have our fats and like nut butters and stuff, a bunch of almond butter. Here we have fruits. We normally keep a bunch of apples because they're awesome for like dipping in almond butter and stuff, just a quick easy snack. Here we have oils and sauces, apple cider vinegar. This is like our drink making basket with some cacao and dates and our frother. I checked back in on our Amazon affiliates and we've now sold over 50 frothers. It's our highest grossing thing that we've ever had. <laughs> so we are just- Get yourself a frother. Just frothing everybody up. And then here we have all kinds of like, uh, like mushroom blends. This stuff has been incredible. I especially like this reishi and chaga blend. That's like chocolate and that's yeah. like vanilla. And the only ingredients in these are mushrooms. And it's really good for like cognitive function and neuro regeneration. Then we have baby wipes, which are clutch for baby wiping. Water bottles and stuff back here, trash can. This trash can will just use spare bags. Uh, if we have a grocery bag, which we don't have, often have, this is like a cotton ball bag. We fill that up maybe once every up to a couple weeks, and then we can just throw that away at a gas station or whatever, so. Up here we have all of our spices that we use often, tea compartment with different teas and stuff, and then just some like lotions and stuff that we don't use super often, so they're kind of hidden back there. Then we have cups. Like we said in the last one, it's nice to have nestable stuff. So we have our two stainless cups, and then another stainless guy, and then a mug, and then Elsa's cacao cup. And then plates, we just have two plates, two bowls. We lost one, or we haven't gotten another no, one of these yet. But. And then over here, we have just like supplemental um, trinkets and oils and all kinds of stuff like that. Extra lighters, some tools that we use often, that kind of stuff. 
Under here we have our loose leaf teas and bulk spices that we use often. So we just refill these little containers whenever we run out of stuff. Here's our utensils. And then we have this little MSR scrubber. This guy's awesome. You can get him at like most sporting goods stores for like five bucks. Super easy to clean and works really well. We have a little gear tie to hang up our keys. And this is on guard. It's basically like Purell, but uh, natural form. This is Burt's Bees that we always have out in the winter, especially. A Leatherman Skeletal. This is like an awesome little tool. The most portable full-size Leatherman available. Super nice, got a little screwdriver and everything on it. And a lighter. Here we have our electronics. This Bose speaker puts out a lot of really good full sound. It's excellent. A carbon monoxide reader. That's necessary because we have the wood stove. This is our internet. The plan is through Unlimitedville and it's unlimited data and it's excellent. This is our 1000 watt hour lithium goal zero battery. We keep it up here so it stays warm and so that we can access it from the bed or wherever. And then over here we have a 400 watt hour AGM goal zero and I'll use this when I'm over here working on the bench or whatever to charge up my gear. On top of the sink, we have this tray that's super nice for like a little lap table. And then in the sink, we have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. It's kind of just like a throw pile and we organize things later. Above the battery, we have this gridded system that we used to keep in our backpacks, but this just turns out to be better with all of our electronics and cords so that we can plug it into the battery whenever we need it. Under that, we have our BioLite base lantern. We've had this for a couple years now and it's awesome. It's our primary light source, you can control it with your phone and everything. And then plugged into the side of that, we have these sight light minis that go across around the bed and you can adjust the brightness on those guys, which is super handy. And then under here, we have another BioLite Sight Light XL. This used to be a big bulb light, but we kind of hacked it just to be a little directional light for our um, kitchen area. This is our bed where we both sleep, often most of the time with camp too. This is our Go Rumpel blanket, which is a down blanket that we got recently. The pattern on it was designed by Jeremy Collins and it's beautiful and awesome. And he's a local KC artist, so we had to represent. This was initially designed to be two bench seats and a table but we keep it always as a bed because we use the storage underneath and everything. This bench seat is all of our climbing gear, camping gear, just general survival stuff. Under this one is all of our supplemental seasonal clothing, like all of our snowboarding gear and that kind of stuff. We don't access this one very much. Then underneath we have our reflectics and our clothes bins. Um, when we're traveling, this is where the solar panels go, is on, on these ropes that we hung up here. This is my clothes bin. It's all winter clothes right now, and I just roll everything up and stick them in there. This is really about all I got for the winter. And then Elsa's clothes bin, same kind of deal, just all rolled up really nicely, and no excess here. Which is There's great. not. <laughs> and then here's all of our toiletries and this stuff. You keep your toiletries back here. Correct. We'll get to that. And then behind my clothes, we have our tank drum. Uh, so that he's more accessible than he used to be underneath. This is our Yeti cooler. It's amazing. We love it. During the winter, we mostly keep things in here that we don't want to freeze, <laughs> ironically. So like spinach gets super wilty if it freezes up. Same with other vegetables. So that kind of stuff's in there. And then if we have liquids like beers or whatever, we'll keep those in here so they don't freeze up and explode. We have our six gallon water can. We have another one of these in the car. So we'll just swap them back and forth if one of them's empty. We're keeping this in here right now so that it doesn't freeze, so we have water. We have a 2.5 gallon water tank as well that we normally keep under here, but the bottom of it cracked because it got so cold, so now it's outside frozen. We're gonna get a Berkey filter whenever soonish, but we're still researching that. Here's our closet. We've opted to convert this primarily into gear storage so that we can access all of our cameras and laptops and everything quickly. This is all camera gear. We have camps harness hanging up. I have a little hook in here that we can hang our jackets, laptop bags, and then extra camera gear and drone stuff in the bottom. Oh, a simple little dustpan and brush. This is how we clean up the scamp whenever needed. And on the left side, we have the ukulele, a theracane, and our axe, and then our trusty little poop shovel, and that's dirt. 
so don't freak out. <laughs> I've been having a blast compartmentalizing and organizing all of our gear so that it makes sense so we can like grab things out quickly. So if you'd like me to dive more into that, I would love to. So let us know in the comments if you want me to geek out on all the gear stuff. Over by the doors where we generally keep our boots and we just recently got this guy. This is just a car floor mat and we put this in front of the door so we can knock off our boots and everything so they don't track snow into the scamp. It's been a game changer for keeping the floor clean. Over here we have our cat. <laughs> it's also a dog and he's great. His name's Camp. Um, this is where I will generally sit and work. Uh, I have like a pillow here and a blanket behind it and then this blanket. And then I'll use this desk and I normally have it set up about like this. And I would show you where I normally sit but I don't want to disturb the princess. And then I'll have my laptop or iPad or whatever on here. I have a post on this iPad setup that I just made, so I'd love to geek out with you on that as well. Underneath here, we have Camp Saucer. This is the brand that we've been using lately. It's called I Am Loving You. They're out of Boulder, Colorado. This is a dehydrated dog food for our special little cat dog that is very sensitive. We also have some sardines under there that we supplement his diet with. Right now, Elsa, for the winter, she has some sambas and some boots, and that's about it for her. And then I have my mocks and a pair of trail runners and my old boots. In the storage bin under here, we have miscellaneous tools, electronics, just extra kitchen stuff. Same with this guy under here. All the things that we don't access super often that we still need to keep handy, like extra, our bulk stuff that we fill those guys up with, the extra toilet paper, that kind of stuff. This corner of the scamp isn't super well lit. When I need some light to light the fire or whatever, I can use this guy. It's the BioLite Sunlight. You can toggle through all different colors. I normally keep it on like a nice amber color. On the back of it, it has a solar panel, so it's an all-in-one sort of unit. You can charge it and it's great. Then we got our new headlamps, the BioLite 330 headlamp. These are incredible. The reason we like all of BioLite's products is they're all USB rechargeable with little lithium batteries. And since we are purely on solar power, that's necessary for us. And replaceable batteries are just a pain. And then we have our little hatchet with a knife built into the butt just for processing wood or whatever. This is my like bathroom kit, bathroom kit, just like tools and beard kit. Um, we're keeping our toilet paper up here now. This is a microfiber just for the windows and stuff to clean them up and then our hats. And then another BioLite light. This guy is for the um, bikes. So we have little mounts on our bike so we can put this guy on there. Cool thing about this is it has a USB out as well and it's a five watt hour battery so you can charge whatever you need. Like if you want, needed to charge your phone in a pinch or whatever, you could do that. This is our indoor wood bin for all the processed wood for like, this will last us what, like an evening or a day or two, yeah. depending on how cold it is. But it's pretty sparse right now. I need to process wood tonight. Lastly, a really nice addition is all the hooks that we have all the over the scamp. These are just little 3M hooks and we have them hung up everywhere just for extra odds and ends. It's just nice to be able to hang things since we don't have a lot of space. It kind of keeps things off the ground and organized. And that's pretty much all for the inside. Let's step outside and we can show you what we have going on out there. Out here we've got our propane tank. We uh, attach that to our Coleman cook stove that we use in the kind of warmer days. We've got our regular sized cooking dishes and bucket for cleaning dishes. In this shallow bin, we've got ropes and other outdoor tools. And here is our large bin for wood that Baron will throw all of the initially processed wood and then we'll take the bin from inside and fill that up from this bin. This is our broke ass water jug. In here is our bulk bin of hardwood that has yet to be processed. Our Goal Zero solar panels, we've got a 100 watt panel, a 50 watt panel that's in the scamp and a 30 watt. It depends situationally on the sun, where we're at, how much power we're using as to which panels we keep outside. Let's see. We have got Baron's bike. It's a nice bike, so he will lock his up and then 
my um, bike is over there. We use our bikes on trails that are around in the summer or to ride down to the trailheads to go to the bathroom if there's one close. And then we have our 2004 Subaru Forester XT. It's an all-wheel drive Subaru with studded snow tires. This has been so helpful to get us in and out of places like this. Icy, snowy, sandy, muddy, all terrain. It's been awesome. Right in here, we've got our recycling. We did have a bigger recycle bin that we accidentally left in Kansas City. We just cleared out a lot of stuff in the scamp as we moved. So there's a little bit excess in here and we have yet to go to the recycle center. On this side, I have got my sticker kit. This is everything that I have to ship my stickers. I've never shown this or really talked about it in a video. And if you wanna see more about my sticker kit, let me know. Back here, this is where we store our other six gallon water jug. We've got reusable bags in here for when we go to the grocery store. And just some other miscellaneous stuff. Window scraper, a uh, really awesome shovel. Can I grab the shovel from here? You put the arm into the shovel. It can go compact and it can also be full size. This thing is freaking awesome. Something brand new that we just got is this little phone mount for our phones. It magnetizes and holds really well both ways. And the magnet is so strong that it's going through not only my phone case, but also one of my wood stickers. So that is pretty sick. We keep the Subaru pretty empty day to day, except for when we are moving with the Scamp. We take everything heavy out of the Scamp and put it in here, including the wood stove. Last super clutch thing is this ODB reader. If you've got a check engine light flashing, all you need is one of these. You don't have to go and take your car to the shop to be examined. This will read out the codes. You can also reset the codes and reset the check engine light to see if the problem persists. Great work. Such a mechanic, wow. I hope you enjoyed this tour video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the tour videos. We're always trying to optimize and make things more efficient in the scamp. If you wanna learn more about anything that we talked about in this video, we're gonna be putting up a blog post on Baron's website, normal2nomad.com. And don't forget to check out my website, elsaray.com, if you need a sticker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.